the stickers. Wednesday, do you mind? Every time. Cat card. Super cute.
Hi everyone, I hope you're doing okay. Um, I don't really want to answer a normal question this week um, because I've been having some trouble with my throat and my breathing again. Um, for anyone who's been keeping track of how many weeks in a row I've used that excuse, don't worry, I do actually have a doctor's appointment next week. <laughs> um, I've been having trouble with my asthma basically and it's just making my throat roar and stuff and now I have a really weird wheezy cough so that's cute. Um, so I'm just going to talk about Halloween stuff for a bit. I'm going to take you Halloween shopping with me. Um, and I hope you don't mind too much. Um, I will resume regular content next week after I've been to the doctors, hopefully. Um, I think I just need to get my inhalers upgraded, to be honest. Um, so I went to TK Maxx because one of my friends tipped me off that there was Halloween stuff there. Um, you might remember that I went to HomeSense a few weeks ago, but I hadn't been to TK Maxx yet. So I walked over to TK Maxx today. Um, they had a lot of cute stuff, I'm not gonna lie. I was really surprised at how much there was. I'm not sure if every year up until this point I've just not gone early enough to realise it was out or something. Because in the past, TK Maxx has not been amazing amazing. They've had nicer stuff than most places, but not the sheer amount of stuff that I saw today. Um, they had so many cool things, like these table runners were really cool. Like, I really liked the cobweb one. The bat one was nice, but the cobweb one was really cool. Um, and when I went to Home Sense a few weeks ago, they had some cobweb spidery ones that were like black and they had like beading, like gl like glittery beading on. I was like, it's really cool. Um, I don't have a table to put a runner on, but if I did, <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, it was really good. They had way more stuff than I thought that they would like, and th this woman was walking around with the trolley, just putting more out while I was there. Um, they had so many mugs, um, Really cool mugs too, I just wish they had been a bit smaller. This one is really cute, the Hey Boo mug. Um, I don't know where the style came from, I don't know if it's like an American style of mug. Sorry to all Americans I'm throwing under the bus, but I don't know why they're so big. They're like soup mugs, like I would only eat soup out of it or pasta. Like I would not make a cup of tea in a mug that big because it goes cold so fast. Um, I don't understand the big mug trend and I don't like it. <laughs> um, if I'm struggling to hold it in one hand, then that's problematic. <laughs> This wicker, like, cobweb sweet holder was so nice, I thought about buying it. We have a plastic one just like that, that I got from the supermarket, like, five years ago. Um, but I guess while it's intact, it doesn't really need replacing. Um, but the wicker one was so pretty, I really did consider it. When I saw that this was vampire-themed underneath, I almost bought that too. <laughs> um, I actually had it in my basket, and then I was like, literally, what are you going to do with it? Um, so I put it back. I've said this in the past, but I really only try to buy stuff that I know I'll use and will reuse, um, whether that's in my day-to-day -day life or, like, just for Halloween. Like, I I try to only buy decorations I can put away and take back out, like, Christmas decorations. Um, I have Halloween boxes, um, and I try now to only buy stuff that I can use again and again. Um, this stuff was so strange. Like, I don't, I don't understand, but it was cute, I guess. <laughs> it's the gnomes. Do you know what? What are they called? Gonks? I don't get them. Like, I do. I've read about the origins of them, but I, I don't know why we have them in the UK so much, um, especially for Halloween. So I went back to this haunted house because it, I realised it was a cookie jar, and I was like, that's so cool. Um, if I had more room to put things, I would have bought it to put, like, on my bookshelf or something, or maybe I should have done that. Uh, I could have put it on my bookshelf. Anyway, I thought about buying it. I didn't. Um, and then because I'd had such a good time, I guess, in TK Maxx, I then walked over to HomeSense again. Um, but it wasn't as fruitful because they were changing the stock over. So when I was there, there was like a whole empty aisle because they were, had trolleys and trolleys of more stuff to put out. And I tried to wait them out. Um, but I think I was in the way and they were taking a really long time and they were sort of discussing where to put stuff and I was like, okay, this isn't going to work. Um, so I didn't stay, um, but they had a lot of really nice stuff like crockery and the snow globes are always really cute, but again, I just don't know what I would do with them. So many bath mats as well, just like rugs. Um, they had some really cool like woven ones on the wall as well. Um, and a trolley full of huge mugs, which I don't respect. Um... These little guys, these little skeletons. I thought about buying the yellow one. Um, and this basket was super cute, super, super cute. Um, they had a lot of cute stuff, but I didn't buy a lot because, again, I just tr I don't want to be wasteful about it. It's really easy, as special as Halloween is a special interest. It's really easy to get too excited and want to buy too much. Um, it's definitely a mistake I've made in the past um, with stuff that didn't last. So I try to be a lot more mindful about it now, I guess. Um... 
So I bought this dog toy for Wednesday um, and she really liked it. I'll I give it to her at the end and you'll see. Um, I got this little ghost ornament. I think it looks kind of vintage and it lights up. So I thought that was really sweet. Um, and that's something that's nice enough to be on display all year round. So I like that. Um, this bowl I got from TK Maxx and if I had seen the skull one that I also bought I probably wouldn't have bought this one but then when I got home I realised that that one was smaller so it's more of like a snack bowl and then the skull one, this one, is more of like a cereal or pasta bowl um, so that's how I'm justifying it. <laughs> um, they're both really nice. The skull one I bought was because it's speckled. Um, I wanted the cobweb one but it wasn't speckled. Um, and this is some skull bunting which is made of felt so again it can be reused and like a lot of paper printing. Um, so yeah, that's what I bought. I just bought four things. Is that right? Five things. The dog toy, of course. Um, and she actually really took to it. I wasn't sure. She likes things that she can carry around the house um, and things that she can play tug with. Um, so when I saw it, she definitely has way too many toys. Like she dead ass does not need toys. Um, but it was cute, you know, and I just... I always feel bad when I have to go out and leave her at home and I always buy her a toy out of guilt, so... Um, yeah, she did really take to it though. Um, so yeah, if you're in the UK, you should go to TK, TK Maxx and HomeSense. I can't remember if I said this, but I asked the woman at the till when she thought the Halloween stuff would be leaving and she said she thought it would be going by as early as next week because they were getting ready to put Christmas out. So... If you're in the UK and you like spooky stuff or you just want to buy stuff for Halloween, um, you should definitely go as soon as you can because they're starting to change over to Christmas in August. It's the 19th of August today, um, but that's what she told me. So I'm just passing it on. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get everything sorted at the doctor's next week and then I can be less croaky and like strained when I talk to you. Um, <sighs> yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and I'll see you all soon. I also just really quickly want to say that I'm actually still enjoying these. I, this is the third one, and I've now, like, finished it. I finished that one, and I finished this one, which is, like, 3.5. It's, like, a, a mini book in the middle. I'm still having a really good time. I'm, like, 150 pages into the last book, and I think I'm going to be really sad when they're finished. Like... I was looking for something to break my reading slump, and given that I've read like a thousand words, probably more, in the space of a week, I think it was great. <laughs> um, I don't- I still don't understand why on Goodreads and stuff, the reviews are so so bad. Like, they are silly, don't get me wrong, they're silly, like, there is some silliness, and some of the language is really repetitive, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> like, the world is big and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm gonna be really sad. I feel like I'm gonna get the world's worst, like, book world hangover when I finish this one. But it broke my reading slump. Like, how am I supposed to complain? Like, I think they're fun. I've definitely read worse. I don't know if it's because I grew up reading and still do read, like, absurd amounts of fan fiction. <laughs> so I don't know if maybe I just don't have the standards that other people do or something. Or if I'm just more lapse or, like, open to reading all the in-between stuff like this book I saw a lot of people were annoyed that it was just like very like fruity and it was just people hanging out and I was like oh I love that I literally actively seek fan fiction to read about my favorite characters in between moments <laughs> so I just I'm having a good time I love that it's like a whole surrogate family thing with like absurd amounts of banter I love that like I don't know I don't know man like <laughs> Someone filmed me and some of you in the comments of last week's video said that you also really enjoy them so I don't think I'm completely out there but the reviews I literally don't get it I think it's a bit harsh I think it's a bit harsh I'm having a good time um I'm trying to take my time with this one I thought I'd pace myself <laughs> for the last book of the series um but yeah